if the uh, if the if a private man who is the sponsor of the credit by the way if the private man wants to take his labor or his assets into the public he has to do so uh, through various means and so uh, as a sponsor of the credit you might look at it kind of like this way and that is the private man who we denominate by writing his title this way John sponsors this entity here. So we're going to talk a little bit about what all that means. Now one of the things uh, that you need to uh, get an understanding of and become convinced of if at all possible is that <clears throat> is that all of these all capital letter acronyms or names as it were are all the same party. In other words, this entity right here is the same as the United States is the same as IBM is the same as uh, Safeway or wherever you shop for your groceries. So, they're all joined at the hip. They're all the same party. And so what, what, what is done to one is done to all. And so when we say that the man, John, it might be Mary or Bill or whomever. But anyway, when that entity there that is capable of labor infuses his energy into the public, he becomes the sponsor of the credit to all the corporate entities. And so, as we go along with this acceptor for value, maybe that'll make a little bit uh, more sense to you. Now, uh, there, there is a misconception that goes around, and uh, people are under the uh, a mistaken idea that uh, the government creates money. But uh, such is not the case, because as has been pointed out here, a government can only be construed to be a corporation and so, hence, it's, uh, it's a fiction. And so the only real value, the only money that can actually be placed has to come from man or, or John or Mary or something like that. Now, it's, it's true that the government might strike coins and print currency and do all kinds of stuff like that. But the, but the, the only thing that gives any kind of real value to the coins or to the printed money and so forth is the uh, is the labor that the man puts up, and a consequence of that, uh, labor is the only true capital. Let me repeat that: that labor, the labor of a man or a woman, is the only true capital. Now, as I said, the basis of all commercial energy uh, comes from the private man into the public. It's uh, issued in the form of bonds, and uh, the uh, Bonds give rise to various other commercial documents and so forth, but it all starts, all, all commercial energy comes from bonding. And so in order to, uh, to create a bond, there must be a surety or something of real value that's put up so that, the, so that the bond can be executed in the event that it needs to be. So uh, when, uh, when, when we take this value out of the private, and take it into the public. And there has to be some way to demonstrate fairness to all parties. So that's why we have accounting that I dropped out of. But anyway, the accounting is for the purpose of demonstrating equity to make sure that all parties have been treated fairly in all, all the transactions and so forth.